Hey everyone, so I'm finally able to start putting out an update video of pretty much how my car has been doing for the last couple of months. So the biggest change that has occurred with my car is motor-wise. So exterior, I still got a lot of stuff I want to do and mainly it's like cosmetic stuff such as like the hood, the fenders, the rear fenders and pretty much some repaint. This change is pretty much now it's single turbo compared to being an RB. It's, it's an on three kit with a 61 millimeter and I'm running everything off the kit except the everything on that side of the car and the uh, intercooler. Anyways, I really want to go ahead and change these over. So I'm running the stock DVs plus my stock uh, charge pipe. And the funny thing is this is my OEM charge pipe from since I had the car. I had a car at 48K and I'm the second owner and the thing has not busted as of yet. Even on RB, even on stock turbos, RBs, and now I'm single, it's still pushing and hasn't cracked yet. I have a next uh, stock one, but I've yet to ever change them. But I have the charge pipe right here. I just haven't installed it yet. And this is for when I get my new turbo that I want to put on there. Pretty much I just want to upgrade this part and then change out the coils and stuff like that to, almost, so pretty much I want to upgrade the coils and stuff like that. Well, other than that, it pulls like a eight, bro. So on three kit came pretty quickly. I ordered it in early January and by time, pretty much around that time, that's when I left the state. So I didn't come back until around like March or so. And I put it in in April. So I've been driving since May, June, July, like three months. So it's pretty solid kit and I like it so far. I address the high pressure fuel pump. It's pretty new one in there right now, so it's, I'm not really having an issue with fuel right now, but I pretty much want to up the boost some and not have to worry about anything. So most likely I want to run a straight E85 and the only way I'm gonna be able to do that is if I have like a, what was it, port injection and I really kind of don't want to do it, but then again, hopefully by the time I'm ready to do it, then they'll most likely have like an update to a high pressure fuel pump system for our N54 cars. So the fun part about it has been like trying to tune this thing and it has been way simpler. And the main reason why I even updated, uh, not updated, but upgraded the single turbos because of the ease of maintenance, such as I don't have to pull apart the whole <laughs> right side of the car. And the hardest part of doing this whole install was actually pulling off all the OEM stuff. I was like, oh gosh, I'm so glad all that crap is gone. Uh, miles per gallon has been pretty good. Um, my oil temps have been down. And the funny thing is I don't have me have uh, the OEM oil cooler on my car. It's Florida and my temps have been pretty much in the middle. So I don't know what the heck's going on, but my pretty much all my temps have been pretty good. Well, this is why I hate working in my garage at night because it's dark as heck. And the main thing I got to light up the place is pretty much this uh, lantern. It's pretty bright go ahead and like put it inside where I need it to go and I can see but I needed something to like brighten up the whole entire garage so right now it just looks so dark <laughs> so I went ahead and got these lights from Amazon I'll post the links below but these things are amazing so far I got three of them up right now so what I gotta do is put them up in series so I wish they had like a splitter piece cause so that I could like, I want to do like a T, like right down the middle. So right now I'm plugged into the garage door outlet in the wall. Cause that's the only one I really have that would look decent and not look all jacked. So uh, it looks pretty good. Like you can see it's like pretty dark in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it on and voila it looks more like a actual garage now i can see what exactly what i'm doing i really don't even need that other light anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and uh finish putting up the rest of them i have six of them in total inside the box so i'm gonna go ahead and put those up and see how it goes the only thing i don't like is that i'm gonna have to figure out a way to try and wire this into the wall switch because I hate the fact that I'd have to go ahead and every time I want to go ahead and turn it off I gotta come up here and hit the switch so 
Other than that, it's pretty fine. So I got this one from Amazon, went ahead and ordered it, came in like two days. And pretty much this was the last thing I needed to put on the car. Besides putting in back the, hooking back up the radiator, putting down some more heat on um, ceiling, and put the cover on, clamp this down, and make sure everything is good. So, yeah, um, pretty much going pretty good forward. Also need to get a cover for the turbo, a filter, I mean, so no debris go inside of the fins and destroy anything. So. Well, first start. Let's see how this goes. So I've been sticking in the same frame of I just wanted to run nothing but flash only and I went ahead and just switched over to MHD. So the problem is since my Kabe P was broken, I couldn't uninstall it. I was like, crap. So I was using my laptop to go ahead and um, I was running an Android emulator, Andy, and it connected, it read the codes correctly, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, cool, this could work. And I tried to flash, I bought like the subscription and everything, I tried to flash it and it kept on erroring at like 1%, like, oh, it couldn't clear the clear memory or something like that, I forgot the error. But it kept on doing that, and then I pretty much kept on getting different codes, blah, 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 blah. So the only thing is once you run into that error, it corrupts your, or should I say not corrupt, but it messes up the ECU data. So the car would not start. So I had to go ahead and go use WinK FP and revert it back to stock that way and then try to run it and then it comes to realize the problem i was having was with the android emulator so i said screw it went to best buy bought a what was it samsung tab e tablet and it was like a return out of like 50 bucks and it worked so that's the way i had to get it onto the car so completely my fault i was like i would pretty much want to put everything onto my computer because i pretty much do everything on my computer so edit in here and my maps I can tune email <laughs> I do everything on here so that's why I really wanted to run like the flash emulator on there that's restarting and starting and the like it just froze up but I think it's just locking up to finish out the completion. And we're done. Okay, now it's done. It went through it one more time and the progress was pretty quick. It took like five minutes. So I'm all know if it did like a verification or something, but once it's done, it'll say this right there. Z USB update program in okay and okay and I'm done. So now I should be able to go ahead and open up MHD and flash the custom ROM. Hopefully everything goes smooth. So everything is good mechanically. So the only thing I wanted to really do was like make sure the cosmetics is up to par. So the only issue, pretty much all my issues, is I have to get that whole bottom resprayed and I have to get this part fixed because my hood like fell down. Like the spring, I don't know why it fell down, but it fell down onto the pointy part of the engine support. And that's what pretty much damaged right here. So I got like this point, like a dimple or pimple on top of my freaking hood. 
So that's what I hate. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I have some error with my handbrake. It's telling me that I have a, the handbrake is up even though it's down. So I can't turn off DTC or nothing. So it's, I can't really push the car how I want it to. And also I have to go ahead and change this out because it's sagging after all these years. And yeah, I just want to do a thorough cleaning of the car, get everything up to date. And I gotta get new tires, all that. And yeah, it's all cosmetic. So yeah, in the next video I'm gonna get some rolling shots and uh, I'm gonna say y'all can hear the sound of this thing. It sounds nasty. So yeah, so pretty much the exhaust system is straight piped all the way through with a boiler at the back. And it sounds pretty good, you know what I mean? Like when you're cruising around, it's not like overly like obnoxious, but the second you step into it, it like, it sounds completely different. Like people are like, oh my God, what the heck just went by? And especially it's running the open dump too. So that doesn't make it any better. So. Normal cruising speed, it's like, wow, it's it's chill, it's unassuming. And like, when you open it up, it sounds good, man. So I'll catch y'all in the next video, and yeah, take it easy.